What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we managed to actually win our very first badge against uh, Milo. And uh, now we're going to be uh, doing a few things. Just a few, few things. Uh, as you probably already know, we are in Moto Stoke, and we're going to start getting our hair did because, yes, it's time for a change right here. So let's go right ahead and talk to this person. Yes, I want the whole hair. That's right. Hair is going to get done. And, well, as you can see, our hair is this way, regular and all that stuff. But we'd like to make it a little bit better because, uh, well, in real life, we are kind of a little bit different right now. I mean, I let my hair grow just a tad bit. So, let's see what this lady has to say. Now then, what kind of look do you want today? Well, you got different kinds of hairstyles. As you can see, you got the short style, the Caesar style. Look at that. Looks all boss and everything. Medium and wavy. This kind of looks like uh, Professor Sycamore's kind of hairstyle. Then we got the braids. Look at that. That's right, guys. You know, I used to have hair like this back in high school. <laughs> Trust me, guys. It was a fun, fun story right here. And here we have the side part. Not really my thing right here. Then we got an undercut. It's kind of like a mohawk slash kind of a bro kind of haircut. Not my, my, my kind of style. And then we got the bowl cut right here, which I do not like because it kind of reminds me of a bunch of, uh, you know, uh, wannabe gangster guys. And here we have the long emo haircut. <laughs> Look at this shoot. <laughs> oh, man. But my hair is a little bit long. It kind of looks like this. So we're going to go with that. That's right, guys. We're going to be emoing it up. All right. So what's going to be the next thing? Okay. So now we can choose a different color. We can go Super Saiyan right here. Look at that. Super Saiyan Draven. We got dark brown, our regular hair color. Ash brown. Look at that. We're not grain. Trust me, guys. We are not grain. Caramel blonde. Look at this. This is this is what I like to call the uh, the swimmer's hair color. The swimmer's hair color. It's always shiny, bright, and looks very, very soft. Then we got the platinum. Yes, we're going to go Ill Ultra Instinct right here, guys. Look at that. Ultra Instinct. Then we got pink brown. I don't know how that could even be. And let's see. Super Saiyan Rosé right here. Look at this. We got white. Ultra Instinct yet again. Then we got green. Do not know what to call that. That's probably, uh, what's his name? Wally's hairstyle. Then we got Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. Look at this. I would love to go that way, but it's <laughs> not going to happen. Then we got Super Saiyan God. Look at that. And uh, again, Super Saiyan Rosé. Look at that. Okay, so we're gonna go with black right here. Yes, we're gonna we're just gonna emo it up right here, and uh, that is pretty much it right there. Let us confirm this haircut. Yes. All right, let's get you all sorted. How can you make my hair that long? I do not know. You're chopping it. You're making it grow. And look at that. Good old Draven is looking like himself right now. And thanks for your patience. Your patience. You look fresher than a mint. Would you like to put your hat back on? Yes, I will be wearing it because it actually fits me. And, yes, let's reprint that, that leak card right there. And uh, that is it right there. Okay. So we're looking like ourselves. This is kind of how I looked like back when I was in college and all that stuff. Now, let's go to this area right here. And we are going to be dressing up. I already bought the clothes that I want to buy. So, let's see. We could always go with the sport top right here, guys. Or the grass one. Hell, loosen it up just a little bit. Maybe a striped one. I don't know. How about this one? We can always go black. Uh, let's see. Casualty. Uh, you know what? We're going to go with the black right here for, for the time being, okay? And then, let's see. We got a tracksuit. A hoodie. And... You know what? We're going to be going with red right here. Kind of matches our stuff right here. And let's see. We can go shorts. Look at that. Short shorts. Look at my legs right here. But the shoes don't really match. Uh, how about sporty shoes? No, not that. Skinny trousers. We're going to go with skinny trousers right here. Designer denim. That's what we were wearing. How about designer denim black? Look at that. I think we're going to go all in black, guys, right now. <laughs> and then we got this one. Designer denim faded black. You know what? Let's go all black for right now. Yes. We're kind of emoing it up right now. And let's see, the leg wear, you can't really see. You can't really see right now because, uh, yeah, we're not, we're wearing pants. So, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, you know what? Let's go with black socks. 
or White Sox. Eh, screw it. Don't care. We're going to go all black right now. It's a funeral. And then a chuck of boots. That's what we're wearing right now. But then you can always wear these ones. Look at that. That looks awesome. The sport high tops or the challenger kits. Look at that. Okay, so I like these ones. Holy crud. Okay. All right. And then let's see. Now we did get another bag just for this occasion. We are going with this one right here. Okay, so we're now matching it up. Okay. And then the hat. Uh, let's see. Yes, we had a little dimension to that one. Okay, so now we're looking like we're supposed to. And on occasions, yes, guys, I do wear glasses. So there we go. Actually, let's go with this one right here. The black ones right now. Okay, so there it is, guys. We are looking a little bit more like ourselves. Now we just got to... We, we're just going to be wearing some glasses. Simple... Or some uh, gloves. So look at that, guys. Actually, let's go with the red. Okay, so that is more of us. And then uh, that is pretty much it right there. Okay, alrighty. So that is not what we're supposed to be wearing. Good gravy. Leave it. Ah, uh, crud. Okay, so we're going to have to do this all over again. No. Okay, so... <laughs> Alright, let's go back to red. Uh, glasses is there. This one right here. And then we got the, that. We got that. And... Oh, so those are the... Okay, so we can go with leggings right here. Eh, yeah, screw it. We can look like a soccer player. That's all we could do. Like, really look like a soccer player. But you know what? Let's go with the white now that we can actually see it. And we're going in black. And red hoodie. And let's see. Not the casual. Let's go with the black one right here. Where is it? Where's the black one? There it is. And okay. So we're looking like ourselves now. Let us get the F out of here. And yes. Yes. Okay. So now we're looking pretty spiffy here. Look at that. Like a model. I love the shoes. They look like moon boots and everything. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to be going straight back to where we were. Thanks to uh, this right here. So all we got to do now is fly straight to Holoberry. Or turf, uh, uh, turf field. And we have to go to Holoberry. And look at that. We don't need the fly technique anymore. We now have the uh, the Corviknight taxi right here. So here we are back in, Cor in uh, turf field. And like I said, in our last episode, guys, we managed to get to... We managed to get our first badge. And now we are going to be making our way to turf field or Hol Holoberry. Unfortunately, in the last episode, we couldn't cross this. So now here we are in Route 5. Looking amazing, and, uh, huh, would you look at that, we got some trainers ready for us. So, let's go ahead and start switching out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Optimus, and let's go with Drago right here. These two guys are meant to be battling with each other, so, let's go right ahead. Time for a special interview with the Gym Challenger. The best way to get to know, him, know you is through a Pokemon battle, as of course. Good Pokemon and trainers really shine on camera. Okay, alrighty. So here we go, going up against interviewers Jillian and Cam. Obviously, probably because of the camera. And here they come out with their Pokemon. Look at that. Oh dang, they got a Steel and Electric type Pokemon. So we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna be, we're gonna be doing some battles right here. Okay, so here we go, Optimus and Drago. Let's go right ahead. Let's go with a double hit to Clink. And let's go with a, uh, well, a bulldoze attack. Of course, it's going to hit us, too. But maybe, just maybe, we could hit Clink? I don't know. It does have levitate. It looks like it's levitating. And Helioptile using that mud, uh, that mud slap or whatnot. And come on, bulldoze. And yes, Clink and Helioptile are getting hit. And of course, uh, Optimus is getting hurt right here. So... Everybody's losing speed instead of uh, Drago, so... Alright, here comes the bind attack. Do you not know how you can bind a Dr Well, yeah. Yeah, when you're too... When you're just a clink and... Holy crud, this guy's uh, binding us, hurting us, and all that stuff. So now we gotta actually... We really have to put things together. So let's go with a double hit right here. And let's go with a bulldoze attack. So here we go, Drago again with the bulldoze. And there we go. Clink has avoided that attack, and Helioptile has been defeated. And more experience points for all our Pokemon. Let's go with the Razor Leaf. 
And that takes out Clink. All righty. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We're, we're, we're doing some work right here, guys. And we have defeated the interviewers. She is shocked. It's hard to describe in, in, in just a few words. What an incredible potential. Potential, I should say. And loss. Does this mean this interview is ruined? Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, your strength? You're sure uh, to keep winning during a gym battle challenge. Please let me get an interview again next time. Okay. Okay. So, they really don't ask us interviews or any questions or whatnot. But here we are in Route 5, and we're going to be looking at some interesting Pokemon right here, like this guy following us, this little teddy bear thing. And, well, let's see. What if we go down here? We're bound to find something pretty interesting. Oh, look at that! A Slurpee, or a Slurp Puff, I think. And there it is. We got ourselves three heal balls, and we're going to get the F away from these Pokemon right here. And we have a chef going on. This Pokemon is chasing us! Holy crud! All right, this tree is our, yes, it's our guard. So now we're just going to have to get these uh, berries right here. Okay, so get it again. That's two. Come on, one more. And there we go. Okay, so we got all three berries, or all three shakes. And we get ourselves some pretty good Pokemon, or some Pokeberries. Now, as you can see, there is a Pokemon right there that is glowing. I am going to battle it because, of course, if you guys don't remember... A glowing Pokemon actually a glowing Pokemon actually gives you some watch right there. So let's see. Hold on just a sec, guys. Let's go right ahead and uh, battle this Pokemon right here. Here we have Drifloon. Alrighty, so Drifloon is looking pretty mean. So I'm gonna come out with Shadow Blade right here. If you guys don't remember in our last episode, Shadow Blade turned into Shadow Chicken. And it beat the crap out of uh, Milo's Pokemon in a gigantic max battle. And, uh, well, here comes a defog attack. Do you not know why it's still even a move right here? I really don't. So, now let's go with some power trip right here. Power trip. Oh, yes. And it really doesn't do much. Holy crud. Okay, so you're still going to, you're only going to defog right here. And, yes, I'm not really moving anywhere. I'm just, like, right here. So, here we go. <laughs> Pluck attack nearly beats Drew Flume, and here comes a Shadow Ball attack right here. Now, that looks ominous. That is exactly what a Shadow Ball should look like. And let's go ahead and defeat this guy with a Power Trip. Okay, alrighty. Power Trip does it for the win. Yes, sir. Look at that. Okay, and Drago grows to level 23 as well as Shadow Blade, and well, look at that. We are we're just winning, and we get ourselves 219 watts. So now, let's see. We can just go around here, but let's go let's go ahead and see what this is all about. Is there a, uh, is there something? Come on, let there be a good Pokemon. It better be a very good Pokemon. And here it is. What could it be? It's a magic carp. Ah, crud baskets. <laughs> okay, well, magic carp. Yeah, I'm not going to battle you right now because yeah, I already have a magic carp. By the way, it's two levels away from evolving too, so that's also a pretty good, uh, a big thing right there. There is a chef waiting for us right there, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go ahead and use Big Booty Balto, ready to kick some butt right here. Let's see, what's up, buddy? Oh, I found a trainer world gathering berries. Yeah, yeah, okay, but you weren't you were really gathering berries, but okay. So here we go. Cook Stewart would like to battle. Look at that, and he's coming out with his Applin. Again, this Pokemon type Pokemon, so we could have a little bit of an issue going up against this guy, too. So we're going to be going with a Swift Attack. It's uh, nice and strong, and, uh, well, it's withdrawing. How can you, okay, so how can an Apple withdraw? I don't know. No worries, Big Booty Bolto right here, ready for a swift attack again, and there we go, another withdrawal. So uh, if you're not, if you, if I'm not mistaken, this this Applin is not really that good of a Pokemon, right? Has anybody used Applin yet? I want to know. And we almost defeat Applin right here, but here comes an Astonish attack, and wow. Oh damn. Okay, so two of the leftovers right here. And, well, let's go ahead and finish this guy off with the swift attack. 
And a swift attack. And there we go. Applin has been defeated. Look at that. Okay. And, well, more experience points for all of us. And, yes, yeah, Stuart has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay. All righty. Time to earn that revenue. It's all good. It's all fine. Eventually, I'll be capturing all these Pokemon off screen. You know, you can never have too big of a collection right here, guys. And, whoa! Mancino is just looking at me all funny and everything. So, let's see. I could talk to this guy, but we got a shiny little thing right there. And again, those little shiny areas right there will actually give you, uh, you know, valuable stuff in order for you to actually sell. So what we're going to do now is I'm actually going to switch Balto, go back to Optimus, and we're just, yeah, we're going to be battling all the way right here. So here we go. I'd like to show you my Pokemon I've grown so well. Okay, alrighty. So here it is. Pokemon breeder Debra would like to battle. And yes, she is coming out with her Minchino. Okay, alright. No problem. Optimus Prime ready to kick some butt right here. So let's go Branch Poke for the win. And, wow, Minchino is just... Yeah, okay, so he made a big mistake right there with the Encore. <laughs> Minchino, you made a big, 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 big mistake. So let's go again with the Branch Poke. Let's go, Optimus. Look at that. Minchino defeated. All right. And, well, there's more experience for us for all our Pokemon right there. And she's about to come out with the Steeny. I could be mistaken, but that Pokemon is a, a grass type. Still, oh, again, guys, I'm still trying to learn all the names of the newer Pokemon right here. I actually have to get updated with Generation 7 and 8. And, well, I was right. Steeny. Okay, this is a Generation 7 Pokemon as well. So, here we go. Krakatoa Flame Charge does its trick right there. Look at that. Say goodbye. Alrighty, alright. And Big Booty Balto and Krakatoa grow another level. That's great. Okay, Pokemon Breeder Debra, not so happy right now. But it's all fine because, you know, she gives us some good money right there. Alright, so let's move on right here. We have uh, another Pokemon Breeder. And, well, okay, so let's go with Michelangelo. Michelangelo has not battled yet, so it kind of needs some loving. Let's see what you got to do. My partner Pokemon has been growing in a really unique way. Check it out. Okay, all right, let's see what this unique way is all about. So here we go. Pokemon breeder, uh, breeder Adrian coming with his stuffle. Look at this Pokemon. As you guys already know, this is a teddy bear you don't want to mess with because it is a fighting type Pokemon. So let's go, Headbutt. Let's get it. Come on, Michelangelo. And yes, this Stuffle is a strong Pokemon right here. Oh, crud. Okay, alrighty. So let's go, Water Gun. Come on. Let's go, Michelangelo. Fight for my love. And here comes a brutal swing and... <laughs> I guess I was right. That Pokemon, uh, yeah, very, very tough Pokemon right here. So here we go again. Water Gun does the trick. Critical hit. And, well, a tackle attack. It doesn't look like it's tackling. It just looks like it's flailing and stuff. So, wow. Adrian has healed its Pokemon with a potion. Wow. Is it just me or are these Pokemon trainers getting a little smarter? I don't know. Okay, so... What could have been the ending blow right there? We have to do it again. So here we go again. Another water gun. And that does it. Say goodbye to Stuffle right there. And, well, let's see. Who is next? He's going to come out with a Ralt. So let's go ahead and... Hmm. You know what? Optimus Prime again. Ralt is a... Uh, Ralt is a psychic and fairy type Pokemon now. So I don't think... Dark type moves would actually work since it does have that fairy type coverage. So here we have Ralts a, a level before evolving. Let's go, Branch Poke. Come on, let's go, Optimus Prime. Look at that. Say goodbye to Ralts. Okay, alrighty. And let's see. About to come out with Cutie Fly. Cutie Fly. Alright, Cutie Fly, meet Krakatoa. Let's go, Krakatoa. About to crack the crap out of you guys right here. So look at this. Krakatoa looking like a monster right now. Honestly, I think this Pokemon is it's, it's probably one of my favorite so far. Like so far into this Gala region stuff, this Pokemon has become probably one of my favorites because 
It's a rock and fire type Pokemon. It's a pretty good combination. On top of that, it's just I like the I like the uh, well I like the design to this Pokemon right here. So look at that, great getting some levels, and Adrian has been defeated. Yes. Oh yes. Feeling victorious right now. Okay, so moving on forward, what is this right here? So nice to see a new face around the Pokemon Nursery. We take care of Pokemon people's Pokemon here. When people leave two Pokemon with us, we sometimes find eggs. If you're interested in this sort of thing, ask the old lady inside and tell you more. Do you want to leave any Pokemon with me? No! Not right now. Now, believe it or not, guys, there are two. One in the wild area and one right here. And I do see a Pokeball right there, so we're probably going to have to go and get it. And, whoa. Is that what I think it is? Yes, sir, it is. I'm capturing this guy. Ha, 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 ha. And look at that, we are looking at a Galarian Farfetch. Not so different from the regular one, except this guy's got a bigger stick. Look at this guy! He looks serious! Alright, we're gonna capture this guy. Eventually, it evolves into a... into a Surfetch. And... yeah, this guy... This guy is a pretty strong Pokémon right here, so... I'm gonna try and capture two of them, because in Pokémon Shield, I don't have one. Actually, you can't get one in, a, in Pokemon Shield, and this guy right here, wow, beat the crap out of my Pokemon right there. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's go ahead and use Drago right here, since it does have a, you know, a better moveset just to go up against this guy right here. So let's see, I want to use Headbutt, but that's probably going to not work, so let's go with a Bulldoze, Bulldoze. And that does a good trick right there. Okay, so critical hit. And this Farfetch right here is... His speed has fallen, but here he comes in with a... Yeah, he's coming with a, a Rock Smash right here. So what I'm going to do right now is... I'm going to try and capture this guy right here. And let's go with the Great Ball. See what it does. Alrighty. Stay in the ball. One. Two. Oh, damn it. Okay, so this Pokemon right here is... Wow! Now? Okay, so this guy, this guy is ready to fight. So here we go again with another bulldoze attack. Stay. Yes, sir. Okay, so it is, uh, it is at a good HP to capture this guy. This guy, wow, he has all the moves that I wanted to have. Okay. Let's get in that Pokeball. Come on. One. Two. Oh my god. Holy crud, this guy is stubborn. And there goes Drago. Wow. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> homeboy is not playing around. Let's go with Krakatoa right here. He's defeated two of my Pokemon. What does that say about me? Holy crud. Okay. Let's throw another Great Ball right here. I don't think I have anything else. Come on. Stay in the ball. God dang it, man. And here he comes with a Fury Cutter. But again... It's not about the... Oh, jeez. Oh, damn. Uh, balls! Okay, so... Some Pokemon grow levels, and... Of course, Optimus is growing a level without doing anything, so let's see. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have found a pretty good Pokemon here, and I am... Uh, I want to capture him now. Wow, okay, so let's go ahead and grab that Pokeball that was up up here. And here we found a, she a, a Shell Shell, or what? What the hell was that? A Shell Bell or Shell Shell? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, not right there. Let's see, other items. Oh, a Shed Shell. This one right here, let's see, an item that held the discarded care piece enables the holder to switch out of battle without fail. Okay, never mind. So that's another useful item, I guess. And we're trying not to let that, that cutie bear or whatever bear try to attack us. And, well, we are running away from this guy. And, well, first we got to heal our Pokemon. Good God, this Galarian Farfetch. Galarian, oh my God. If that's any indicator of how good it could be, then Jesus, I probably made a mistake of picking Shadow Blade. <laughs> not to not, not not throwing any shade to my uh to my Shadow Blade, but good gravy. It knocked out two of my my Pokemon right here. Okay, so here we go. 
And there it is. Okay, so now we got two Pokemon back on our team. Let us move on right here. And let's see. We are in Route 5 going in right here. And would you look at that? Team Yell is here. He's like, Oi! Just hand over the bike already! We needed to cross a long bridge! We're gonna use that bike to chase around the gym challengers. It'll be a scream! How barbaric. It wouldn't work anyway. You wouldn't. You don't even have a Rotom with you. Hey, young gym challenger, they're trying to steal my bike. Please, if you can, if you could give them a good thrashing, I would be in your debt. Okay, let's go with the thrashing. Okay, I forget we're in Britain. We're in Britain or in Great Britain or what the hell? England, probably England. What do you guys call it? Britain, Great Britain or England? Do not know. Oi! We're not trying to steal the bike. Only borrow it. We're going to use it to chase after the gym challengers. It'll make them all tired. But I'm thinking you deserve a special shout out. I'm going to crush you in a battle. Oh, damn. Love their theme song right here. Here we have Team Yell Grunt ready to battle us right here. And Oi! Coming out with his very own version of Zigzagoon. All right, Michelangelo, time to redeem yourself right here. Let's see what you can do. Let's go, Water Gun. I do love the I do love their theme song. It's pretty awesome. And look at that. Come in with a snarl. Snarl does some pretty good hits right there. And now our special attack is falling right there. So let's go physical right here. Let's go. Headbutt attack. Oh yes. And there it goes Zigzagoon. Oh yes. Feeling good about myself. And we're getting some experience points. And now he's about to come out with a thievil. Thievil, okay, alright. I see where you're at. Now, let's go ahead and redeem ourselves with, uh, you know, our good old buddy, Drago. Ivan Drago. Look at this guy. And, well, here comes Thievil. That is, wow. I can see why it's called Thievil. Look at that. The mask, the little, the pointy mustache. That's freaking awesome right there. All right. Let's go with a Dragon Tail attack right here. And, well, Thievil is faster than us, so we're going to get hit hard first. Oh, crud. Okay, so here we go. Dragon Tail. Oh, yes. I do love myself my Dragon Tail. Now it's time for a, a Headbutt attack. And look at that. Quick attack right here. Not so not so, not so smart for you guys. There we go. Headbutt attack. And now time to finish this guy off with the Bulldoze attack. Oh, crud. Why are you lowering my defense, man? It's not going to work. Look at the scales on this Pokemon. It's going to kick your butt. Look at that. And go. Thievil defeated. Okay, alrighty. And there we go. Michelangelo grows to level 22. You know, catching up with all the Pokemon. And we're we're Team Yell. We get we get up in the faces of trainers. Oi, no one cares. And just like that, our good old buddy Michelangelo is finally evolving into a very awesome Pokemon right here. Look at this guy right now. Congratulations here. Michelangelo evolved into Dreadnaw. And this guy is strong. Now it gains the rock type capability. So here we have it. Dreadnaw, the bite Pokemon. 254 pounds. You know, pure awesomeness and all that stuff. With jaws that can shear through steel rods, this highly aggressive Pokemon chomps down on its unfortunate prey. Poor, poor prey. Okay, so after that, it is learning Rock Tomb. So now we can actually, you know, we can actually use more, more than one good move right here. So let's go ahead and take away Protect. I haven't really used this this uh, this attack very much. Alrighty, so there it is. Michelangelo forgot Protect, and uh, yes. So that makes two Rock Tomb Pokemon on my team. Eventually, one of them has to go, but we'll get to there. We'll get to that part eventually. Yeah, you crushed my attempt to uh, to crush you. Why you? I want that bike! Don't get in my way! Oh damn, okay, so here we have another battle. Completely forgot about you, homeboy. Alrighty, so here we go. Sableye coming out. Okay. It's Sableye. But here we have our newest Pokemon, Dreadnaw, also known as Michelangelo. Let's go with the Rock Tomb attack now. And look at this. Wow. That is strong, so now... <laughs> Man, Michelangelo is kicking some butt right here. He's kicking some butt. Okay, so let's go with the water gun. See how strong you're You're at water gun right here. And look at that. Sableye. Oh, crud. Sableye is still 
still not doing anything. So let's finish this guy off. Rock Tomb Attack for the win. And Sableye has been defeated. Yeah. All right. And yes, Krakatoa grows to level 23, which is also great. Man, the two rock type Pokemon that you usually find here first are pretty damn good. Too bad I have to... Oh, man, I, it's a hard decision to make. You're too strong! If you stay in the gym challenge, you're gonna cause problems for our lady! You haven't seen the last of us. We're gonna make sure they stay, uh, you stay out of our lady's way. Who's your lady? Wait, was it that girl from... Oh, wow, Motostoke? Okay, alright, I think I know it. My word, you're quite the trainer. And I see you have a Pokedex, too. That means you have a Rotom with you. Fantastic! I think I'll give you this bike to you, to you, then... Better, or... Better you than it, than it... Than Team Yell. Now, you know that Rotom loves motor, motors very, very much, right? Enough to jump right through, uh, right into machines that have motors. So that you got me think, so that you got me thinking. If I attached a motor to a uh, to a bicycle, then maybe I could get Rotom to pop into that as well. I see. Come now, give it a shot. Enjoy cycling together with Rotom and to the fullest. Chop chop. Come on now. You and Rotom ride, you ride that bicycle together. And look at that. We got ourselves a Rotom bike. And all we got to do now is just press the plus button right here. And this bike can uh, combine Rotom Turbo Boost. Read. I'll read the manual. Press the plus button or the minus button to ride to ride your bike with the Rotom. Let's get cycling. Alrighty. Look at that. <laughs> Woo. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, so <laughs> we got ourselves a bike and a new seat, and eventually these little, uh, these green parts right here, I can't remember what it was called, uh, these stands, they will eventually turn into like inflatables just, just so you can get across the sea, and well, you're going to be seeing a lot of sparkly spots, uh, sparkly spots right here in the bridge, those are usually feathers, and what is the problem with those Team Yelgoons? I can understand wanting to cheer someone on, but they caused so much trouble in the process. Probably a decent way to, for fans to behave. That is true. I mean, my fan base is pretty crazy too, right? Maybe, I don't even know. So now I'm right, you know what? Don't need the bike. I am going right here because there are, there's, there's some feathers right here that you're gonna actually find. And well, let's see, who is this guy? That big building you see in the distance, Hammerlock Stadium. You're going to battle there too. You don't say. Look at that. That is some pretty good stuff right there. Eventually, we will be going over there, guys. There's a lot of strong Pokemon. That is where we're going to be doing the majority of our training. After, you know, after we, we, we gain a few gym battles, gym, like gym badges and all that stuff. Eventually, I'm going to form my teams. And then, man, it's going to be incredible. And, of course, oh, uh, God. Hop is here. There you are, Draven. I'm warning you, though. Any closer than that, and we're going to have to have a battle, you and me. Uh, sure, why not? Okay, so he's basically saying that we're going to have a battle. So let's go right ahead and teach him a lesson because, you know what? I'm getting sick and tired of that guy already. Let's get close. I warned you. We're both gym challengers. Who earned ourselves, Grass Badge? This is a perfect training. Okay, so here we go again against... Pokemon Trainer Hop. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. So he's coming out with his Wulu. Of course, he is practicing on his shot right here. I don't care. I just toss my Pokeball right here. And okay. Let's have a taste of what the gym, ba gym badge holders can uh, team can do. It's not that different, homeboy. It is not that different. So let's go with the Razor Leaf attack right here. Optimus, go. And there goes Wulu. Man. I feel like such a jerk just beating him up right there. And, uh, well, more of our Pokemon are growing levels right there. So, here he comes with the Corvus Squire. I got the good Pokemon for this. Let's go with Big Booty Balto. All right. Switch him out right here. And here we have Big Booty Balto. My little Kurgi uh, Pokemon right here. Or Corgi, I think that's what they call it. All righty. Corvus Squire, I'm looking at you. Guess what? I got the spark attack ready to kick your butt, and here comes a uh, fury attack that missed. So here we go. That's right. Spark attack does the thing, and he's like, <laughs> "Typical. You should have known. Should have known that you learned master types." 
And, well, we didn't get hit, but we're going to be healing up right here. Full strength, let's go again. Another spark attack, and here comes that peck attack from this Corvus Squire. That wasn't good at all, but here goes a spark attack. Big booty Balto kicking some butt, taking names. Yeah, buddy. Say goodnight, Corvus Squire, and, well, Balto grows to level 23, which is great. And we're getting healed. Big booty Balto. Look at that booty. Look at that booty. Man, you know, eventually I'm going to get myself a, uh, I'm going to get myself a Corgi. Every one of my Pokemon is an ace. This one is no problem at all. Yeah, you're using Drizzle. Or Dri uh, Drizzle. Drizzle. A Drizzle. Oh, I don't even know. Okay, let's go with a Spark Attack right here. And here comes a Bind Attack from the Salamander Pokemon himself. But guess what? Big Booty Balto going with a Spark. Yeah, buddy. And <laughs> we're getting healed up, so... Yeah, try and beat my little Yamper right here. Not going to happen. And yes, we're going to get binded again. Alright, Big Booty Balto, let's go with a Spark Attack and have a taste of our true power. This wave is going to crash over you now. Hmm. Oh wow, it knows Water Pulse. And that was powerful. But that's even more powerful. Good job. And Drizzle has been defeated. Drizzle. Uh, how do you pronounce it? Drizzle? I don't even know. We both we both get our, got ourselves the same grass patch, so how come you're so much stronger? It's real simple, guy. I actually train Pokemon. Pretty much. Yeah. Okay, so... You've gotten strong, Draven. Seems I've got to train even harder from now on. Okay. And he will be giving us a revive, which is nice. And... Next up is Nessa, the leader of the water gym. Why do you keep on doing that, man? We are not at a soccer game. Whatever. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue on our adventure right here. Yeah, we beat this guy. I feel happy about myself. We are looking for some more sparkly stuff because those are feathers that can actually help us, I guess. I don't even know. Yes. Oh, look at that. There's another one. We found ourselves a genius feather. Now, remember, every single day you can actually find a feather around here. Don't think that it's just these little feathers that you, you'll find in particular, and... Whoa. That is new. I haven't seen that in quite some time. And here we are in, an, well, in another route, and there is a trainer looking at us all cockeyed and everything. So, you know what? Let's go with Optimus. I'm going with it. Bring it! Work to raise good points of Pokemon. Don't, don't worry about the old points. Okay, whatever. I'm going to take a drink right here, guys. So here we have another battle against Breeder Denise. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Merry Christmas, guys. By the way, it's water. It's just water. Trust me. Good old Draven doesn't drink anymore. So here we go. Double hit. Let's get this. And that Cherubi is just... Well, it's... It has leafage. What the hell? Okay. Alrighty. Leafage. Not so effective right now, but guess what? Double hit. Let's go. Say goodbye to Cherubi. Cherubi. And, well, let's see. More Pokemon going levels. Yes, Optimus Prime getting his Prime. And he's coming, or she's coming out with the Woobat. So, let's go with Michelangelo just because Balto. Yeah, he's kind of hurt. Forgot to kill that guy up. So, here it is, Michelangelo looking like a pimp right here. Oh, man, I really do like its design as well. Okay, so let's go. Rock Tomb Attack. Let's get it. And... Bam. Woobat. Defeated. Yeah, okay, alrighty. And, yes, Michelangelo grows level. Drago as well. And Drago wants to learn a new move, so let's see. No, not going to teach a Screech. Okay, so that's that, and we defeated Pokemon Breeder Denise, and she's like, I'll accept that loss, but I'm not going to let it bother me that much. True, true. Yeah, these Pokemon Breeders are really, really uh, good with letting things go, and here we have three special attacks, X special attacks, I should say. And, well, these Pokemon are going to be chasing us from... Alright, we're going to go right here, because, yeah, I don't want, I don't want to get attacked by you, man. So, let's see. Let's go with a potion. Let's give it to Balto. Again and again. Yes, uh, I do have some super potions around here. 
All right, Michelangelo growing levels or growing experience points, and here we have Drago. Okay, all righty. All right, let's move on. Now there are some interesting Pokemon that you can actually find right here, guys, and we have an absor ab absorb bulb. And special uh, boosts up the special attack of its holder with a water type attack. It only can be oh, it can only be used once. Okay, so that sucks. And yes, do you love the moves? Yes, I love the moves. Okay, so let's see. Can't go there. We're gonna be going to the main screen or the the screen all the time right here. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. We're gonna go with Balto. I I have a feeling that it might evolve in this uh at this level. Okay. Keep this to yourself, but I'm having Pokemon help with my work. It is. I think I sent two Pokemon there. You are challenged by office worker Gabrielle. Okay. Let's go. We're taking on Gabrielle, and she is coming out with a Krogunk. I think I already have one of those. Too bad you can't get it right here in Pokemon uh, Sword. It's only in Shield, I think, that you can get it. And here comes its Astonish attack. And that... Doesn't really do much, but here goes with a spark attack. And look at that. Big booty Balto getting healed again. Alrighty, okay. So let's go again with another spark attack right here. And. Oh, wow. Huh. A critical hit. Is that what you call a critical hit? I don't even, Oh, wow. We flinched. But yet yeah, we still get healed. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see. Let's go with a spark attack right here. And here comes a poison sting. Might get poisoned. Yes, we are. Okay, so that was a given right there. And here we go. Spark attack. Does it for the win. Alrighty, Big Booty Balto kicking ass, taking names. Gross to level 24. And Gabrielle has lost. You're a trainer who's stronger than me and the Pokemon that can do work for me. That is true. I think that is. I don't even know. Okay, so... Yeah, we got to heal up our Pokemon. We cannot leave it all poisoned up and everything. And yes, Balto did not grow a level right, or did not evolve right here. I think it evolves into level 20s right here. So let's see. Trainer tips. Pokemon that appear to be surrounded by a brilliant aura tend to be stronger than others. And when you defeat them, they drop watts. It seems that you become likely to spot these brilliant Pokemon the more Pokemon you catch. This is true. This is very, very true. Okay, so I think we made we made it to the next town. Where are we? Oh yeah, we're in Route Five, I think. Are we? Where the heck are we? Ah, here we are, guys. Holberry. Oh, the sights, the sounds. Holy bejeebus! This place is a paradise, and there is the water gym. Alrighty, okay. Pimp is here. What's up, everybody? And here we are in Holberry, a busting seaport that many visit to see its lively market stalls and famed restaurant. Okay. Now, before we finish up this episode, let's go right here because there's something going on. Our sincerest apologies. The, st the chairman is quite busy at the moment. Please, everybody, please disperse. Please leave now. Okay, see you later, chairman. What the heck is the chairman wearing? <laughs> no need to rush off. I can still do more autographs. I'll even give you my Pokemon League card. The heck? Dude, what the hell are you wearing? What the hell are... Oh my god, never mind. We need to support our fans and keep on doing what we're doing. Chasing them off like that, aren't you being a little too harsh, Oleander? Fans are very important, of course. That's why you need to keep doing your work. For their sake. I promise you, I promise to do everything in my power to assist you too, Chairman. Oh, and you were? Bead, sir. That's right, Bead! I dare say I am pr I'm impressed how you've come so far since I left, or I gave you that Pokemon all those years ago. Will you be the one to win the gym challenge? Or perhaps it will be one of the trainers endorsed by the champion. I will prove your faith in me, uh, uh, your faith in me uh, uh, was well placed. Anyway, we'll be on my way right now. Can't even read right now. And, well, we meet up and hello there. She looks kind of mean. She really does, but she looks... Mm, 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 mm. But she still looks mean. Anywho, uh, Rose is right here. He's like, ah, your name Draven. Was, or, your name was Draven, right? 
We were just talking about you. I admit that I'm curious about Leon's reasons for endorsing you. Ah, I just had a good idea, as I tend to do. You're going to face the, the gym leader, Nessa, soon, right? If you get a gym badge from her, I'll hold a celebration. I like, I'd like to get to know you a little bit better, after all. Hmm. Chairman, we should really get going. Okay. Please do your uh, do your best for for the sake of po Gala's future. Okay. That was an odd thing to say. And uh, Oleana is here, and she's looking fine as always. She's like, the chairman will be heading to this town seafood uh, this this town seafood restaurant. Win the gym badge and join him there at once. Do not keep him waiting. Oh damn, she she is mean. The way she walks is mean. Guys, I think uh oh, oh wow. She she really really uh she got to me. Okay, so <laughs> anywho. Here we are in the in the Pokemon Center, and this is where we're gonna be stopping in the next episode, guys. We're gonna be exploring this whole place and uh, quite possibly battle the second gym leader. So yeah, there's another gym battle on the way, so yeah. Stay tuned. I will be back for another episode of Pokemon Sword. Merry Christmas, guys. Thank you all for everything, and uh, I will see you guys in just a little bit. See you guys.